Hi guys, today we are going to talk about genicular anastomosis. In simple words, knee anastomosis. As you all know, this anastomosis is formed by several blood vessels from different arteries. And here, I have indicated those branches which, which contributes to this anastomosis. And it is noted that these branches which contribute to this anastomosis is arise from five different parietal arteries popliteal artery, femoral artery, lateral circumflex artery, anterior tibial artery and posterior tibial artery and we will see one by one how this parietal artery contributes to this anastomosis with its branches. The first artery which contributes to this anastomosis and which forms the base of this anastomosis with its genicular branches is popliteal artery and it gives its five genicular branches to this anastomosis and before we going into uh, see what how these branches contribute to this anastomosis we should have an idea what is made by popliteal artery and how it is formed as you all know the femoral artery is the major artery which supplies the lower limb it initially lies in the femoral triangle and later it goes through the adductor canal and after passing through the adductor hiatus in the muscle adductor magnus it enters the posterior aspect of the knee here I have shown the left knee from the anterior aspect and this is the left knee from the posterior aspect and once this popliteal artery enters the posterior aspect of this knee joint it goes through a space called popliteal fossa popliteal fossa is a diamond shaped space in the posterior aspect of the knee once this posterior tibial artery enters the popliteal fossa, it goes along it. And within the popliteal fossa, it gives its five genicular branches. And here they are. And here it can be named with ease. On the lateral side, it gives a pair of branches lateral upper genicular, lateral lower genicular. On the medial side, there are two branches, upper medial genicular and lower medial genicular. And finally, the middle genicular branch, which is an important branch and supplies the cruciate ligament of the knee joint. These so formed genicular branches come into the anterior aspect of the knee joint like this and forms the anastomosis in front of the petal. That's all about the genicular branches from the popliteal artery. Next is the branch from the femoral artery. It is the descending genicular branch. Actually the descending genicular branch is given from the femoral artery when it lies in the adductor canal and it directly comes down and divides into two branches a superficial branch and a deep branch this superficial branch goes along with the saphenous nerve but this deep branch comes down and contributes to the anastomosis in front of the patella next artery which contributes uh, to this anastomosis is this lateral circumflex branch you know the profunda femoris artery is given from femoral artery where it lies in the femoral triangle and from this profunda femoris artery it gives the lateral circumflex artery from its lateral side from this lateral circumflex artery a descending branch comes down and joins with this anastomosis in front of the patella. Next two branches 
which contributes to this anastomosis is from the anterior tibial artery and the posterior tibial artery. Before we go into the branches which contributes from this artery to the anastomosis, we should know how and where from where this anterior tibial and posterior tibial artery is formed. This is the popliteal artery and after popliteal artery passing through the popliteal fossa under the heads of the gastrocnemius muscle, it gives its two major branches which are anterior tibial and posterior tibial. This anterior tibial branch then goes above the introsius membrane and leaves the posterior compartment and enter, enter, enters the anterior aspect of the leg to supply the anterior compartment muscles. But the posterior tibial artery continues further to supply the posterior compartment muscle of the leg. And when considering the branches which contributes to the anastomosis from anterior tibial artery, there are two branches. One is anterior recurrent and other one is posterior recurrent. As its name suggests, when the anterior tibial artery lies in the posterior aspect, it gives an ascending branch to the anastomosis. It is posterior recurrent branch. And once this anterior tibial artery enter, en enters the anterior aspect of the leg, it gives an ascending branch. And this branch is referred as anterior recurrent branch. The final branch we should consider is the circumflex fibular branch from the posterior tibial artery. And as the name suggests, circumflex fibula. From the posterior tibial artery, a branch arises and it goes around the fibula bone. and enters from the lateral aspect of the fibula bone to join this anastomosis, so called as the circumflex fibular branch. That's all about genital anastomosis and as a review, we will recall the arteries once again. To start off with, the five branches from the popliteal artery are upper lateral geniculate, lower lateral geniculate, upper medial geniculate, lower medial geniculate and finally the middle geniculate branch and then the branch from the femoral artery the descending geniculate branch and then the descending branch from the lateral circumflex branch which arises from the profunda femoris and then the two branches from the anterior tibial artery which are posterior recurrent and anterior recurrent and finally the branch from the posterior tibia the circumflex fibula here it is which goes around the fibula and comes into the anterior aspect to join the anastomosis finally as a conclusion you can say that altogether 10 branches contribute from 5 parental arteries for this anastomosis thank you guys for watching and please stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for more videos.